Hi friends, welcome to White Train. Today we are going to discuss a really interesting lesson. Magnets. We all love magnets, don't we? We play with it, search them in all our toys, and even fight for it. Hmm. What makes it so special? Of course, it attracts things just like it attracts us. Magnets are used in many things, most commonly in toys, pencil boxes, and some other things. They are used in motors too, even though you can't see them. Effects of magnets. Magnets do attract things, but not everything. Of course, your eraser or pencil won't be attracted to magnets. Let's list out some things which get attracted to magnets and don't get attracted. Iron nails get attracted. But what about other metals like aluminium, copper, gold? Silver or brass, do they get attracted? No, they are not magnetic materials. Different types of magnets. There are different types of magnets. Bar magnets, ring magnets, disc magnets, magnetic needles, horseshoe magnets and U magnets. Magnetic poles. When you put a bar magnet into a box full of needles, you will observe that many needles are attracted in the ends of it. And you can find the poles by seeing where there are many needles attracted. The two ends where the power of attraction is more are called the magnetic poles. There are two magnetic poles in a magnet, the North Pole and the South Pole, just like our Earth. Do you know? Our Earth is also a magnet. It's a big magnet. That's why compass can show the North, because the direction of mag the magnetic needle inside the compass turns to the direction of the big magnetic earth. Well, we discussed about the magnetic poles. Now, let's discuss about the interaction between the magnetic poles. Magnets are naughty. They don't always stick with each other. When they meet their enemies, they repel. Each magnet has two sides, the North Pole and the South Pole. The North Pole will only attract the South Pole and the South Pole will only attract the North Pole. But one North Pole and another North Pole are enemies, while South Pole and South Pole are also enemies. Magnetic Forces a magnet has a certain power and the power will be spread around the area where the magnet is. The size of the area where the magnetic power is spread depends on the power of the magnet. If the magnet has more power, the area of power spread around the magnet will be more. The area which the magnetism is spread around the magnet is called the magnetic field. That's it for today. Thanks for watching. I'll meet you in the next video. Meanwhile, like, share, subscribe and give your valuable comments.